When a 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit the city of Christchurch on Tuesday, February 22, local newspapers, the press and the Star realised they had a vital role to play in getting information to their shattered town. The APN-owned Star newspapers, usually published twice weekly, switched to being a daily for the fortnight following the earthquake. For journalists in those first few days, the strategy was simple. They wrote what they saw and what readers needed to know. Advertising, though, was more hazardous terrain. Neither the Star nor the press wanted to run the risk of placing pre-booked advertising for businesses that no longer existed. Star advertising manager Shane Victor says staff had to move quickly to decide what advertising would be run. We contacted who we could and, and the others that we couldn't contact we made a decision to run their ads or not. We knew it was inside the central city cordon which was a um, major central city area of Christchurch which was closed off. We wouldn't run it. Um, we then um, would contact the sales rep who dealt with the client after and, and make an assessment call basically where their business was or wasn't. Over at the Fairfax-owned press, the approach was even more stringent. Press advertising manager Mark Ross was in Auckland on the day of the quake, and with phone lines clogged, getting through to advertisers wasn't always possible. We kind of started with an empty book. No ad would publish without reconfirmation, so anything previously booked, no, nah, it wasn't running. We would probably have in our papers the equivalent of about 12 pages a week of, of full-page advertising that relates to earthquake. In a crisis, advertising can play as important a role as editorial in getting critical information to where it's needed. Remember there was many parts of Christchurch that were probably for two weeks after the event still didn't have power. They have power, not many people have got uh, you know, radios that still run off batteries these days. So the press, the fact that we delivered you know, the day after and did so uh, to, the, to the vast majority of Christchurch, there's only a few areas where we couldn't. They got news, they got information, um, and I guess the advertisers, councils and important notices recognised that, which is why they used us as that vehicle and the channel for getting information out there. Star Managing Director Steve McGowan says that some advertising dropped away entirely after the quake. I think the fact that the CBD has been so damaged, um, it's very difficult to gauge what advertising levels and revenues are going to be like in the next two to three months. We've probably lost about 50% of our local retailers at the moment that are currently not trading. Those on the perimeters um, have uh, in varying stages opened. You've had a number of the malls that were slow to open but once checked and okay um, started to open up. So you've had a real different advertising mix. If you look at real estate, it's almost not even worth thinking about. Um, that category is just decimated for want, you know, for want of a better term. Since the earthquake, advertising departments at both newspapers have realised how important it is to keep information accessible, no matter where staff are. One of the products we picked up was Salesforce, um, which gives our uh, sales team a lot more information on their clients and it's digitally stored. Previous to that, a lot of the information was stored in manila folders, cards, etc. So they didn't have a lot of details uh, electronically stored. Salesforce actually forced us to do that during 2010, which has been very beneficial to where we've actually ended up today with a lot of our records being transferable to our new site we work out of. We do work out of a network and a data environment out of Auckland uh, and a Citrix, uh, you know, thin client remote environment. So, you know, it's amazing. Look, if this happened three years ago, we would have been toast. Newspaper staff have shown incredible resilience in the face of the earthquake, and in turn, the quake has shown staff that a new way of getting their jobs done is possible. Staff are working in the field more, and that mobility could offer them a new edge as they move into the future. Christchurch is going to dramatically change um, after this earthquake, and I think we've already shown in the last couple of weeks how mobility of the team is going to be um, a great way forward. It's going to be a, a make us a more efficient um, advertising department, and, um, and I think also enjoyable. A lot of the staff are saying, hey, this is a great freedom I've now got, and, and I can be a lot more efficient. I can be out there, I can go to clients when they want, where they want, and get the sales that way.